Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz in today's vehicle video. This is number two of my series on this brand new 2021 Toyota Tacoma SR edition, SR double cab. Be sure and catch video number one on the exterior, but in today's video, we're gonna dive inside and check out the interior, talk about the features that you get when you buy the SR double cab. Okay, let's start up front on the driver's side. On the door, just a couple great little features. Of course, you got bottle holders down on the doors. There's also speakers in all four doors on the SR edition. You know, the SR is really the entry level in the Tacoma with the double cab 4x4 V6. There's a lot of great standard features on here, and we'll cover them as we go through. So up and down, or four, four I'm sorry, Power windows all the way around with an auto up and down on the driver's windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. Those power mirrors are also heated on the outside. The uh, threshold on the Tacoma does have the Tacoma badging right there, so not generic in terms of that. The uh, driver's seat is not power on the SR Edition, but it does have a height adjustment. That's the knob there, of course, re uh, recliner. Um, it's also a cloth interior and that's gonna be a gray, light gray cloth interior. A nice durable fabric, but very comfortable with the bucket seats. Height adjustable headrest, also height adjustable seat belts, side impact airbags, and side curtain airbags. So you do have Toyota Safety Sense, and you also have Safety Sense P. Uh, I love these omnidirectional vents up front, so you can turn them, twist them, however you want, and there's four of them across the uh, dashboard there. I also like the way they do the dashboard on the Tacomas. So it's kind of a flat swept away, so it gives you a nice extra interior. It doesn't come back into the driver's compartment. It's really a flush mounted dash, if you will. We've got our traction control on and off switch right here. We do have a cargo light. So this is the on and off switch for the cargo light. And that cargo light is right up here. So you've got that standard on the SR edition. Also automatic uh, high beams, standard on all Toyotas now, and we also have automatic headlights. So they automatically turn between the high and low beams by themselves if you've got that switch turned on. Also a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, the controls right up underneath there. So just a couple nice you know, co convenience features, but also some great safety technology, even on the standard SR. Let's go ahead and dive in and check out the interior. Okay, behind the wheel on the SR Edition, the steering wheel is a vinyl steering wheel, so not leather wrapped, it's not heated, it is comfortable and padded. Uh, on this side of the steering wheel, controls for your sound system, Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone. Of course, we have a driver's side airbag with the Toyota badge in chrome. And then on this side here, we've got uh, controls for the information center, which is up here in the gauge cluster. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And then down here are the controls to set your dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure. The cruise control is still down here on this stock where it's been for years on Toyota products. And then up on the left hand side, this is where we have our headlight controls, our automatic headlight controls for auto on and off. And then over on this side are the controls for the uh, washer wipers and the front wipers are intermittent wipers as well take a look at our gauge cluster. I'm going to go ahead and start it up so we can see what that looks like. But you get the key, remote keyless entry system, but it's not the smart key, so it's old school. Put the key in the ignition, fire it up. Take a look here. So on the left is your temperature and your tack. On the right is going to be the speedometer and the fuel gauge. And then right smack dead in the middle, you've got the information center, which at the top has the outside temperature. You've got a digital speedometer, distance to empty, trip meter. If you kind of scroll through here, you get to the uh, get to the safety sense. So this is where you can set up your uh, pre-collision, lane departure. All of those things are done right there in the center stack. And as we, I'm sorry, in the information center, not the center stack. And then as we uh, head over to the center stack, we'll jump up here, take a quick look. So this is a six inch touchscreen, 
and it does have Sirius satellite radio, AM, FM, of course, Bluetooth connectivity. Um, it's Apple CarPlay, uh, Alexa, and Android Auto compatible. By the way, the Sirius satellite radio, you get three months of the premium subscription at no charge. Uh, it's a six speaker sound system, and here's some more of those uh, omnidirectional vents I pointed out earlier. Love the dashboard, uh, the fact that it's kind of a flat, really swept away from you, so it gives you more leg room. Glove box is a locking glove box. Of course, you have your owner's manuals in there as well. We've got passenger assist grip up here. No vanity mirrors on these visors, but these are extendable visors, so you can pull them in and out like so. Overhead lighting, safety connect right there. That's if you need help when you're out on the road, push that button and Toyota will get you the help you need. And then we have a standard uh, day-night mirror up here as well. Heading back down on the center stack, we've got, let's see, this is our four-way hazard light. We actually have automatic temperature control, which I find is to be pretty interesting on a, you know, an entry-level vehicle. So you can set up your, your individual temperature, front driver and front passenger, front window defrost, heated outside mirrors. Here's your four-wheel drive selector. Here's your electronic uh, power control. USB charging port. Here's your 12 volt traditional cigarette lighter style. Storage compartment down here, great place to throw your glasses. There are some cup holders down here as well that are adjustable. And here's your transmission. Now it does have a parking brake and I like the fact that it's right here instead of on the floor for off-road driving. Usually if you're pulling on your parking brake, you're trying to uh, lock up the back wheels so it's helpful if you can manually do that when you're doing some off-road driving a little storage compartment here and then another smaller cup holder right in the center of the center console and then our armrest is a fixed position uh, it is padded and there's room enough for two skinny arms like mine and then underneath we've got a place to put in your ink pens and then way down here i hope you can see it don't know if you can but it actually has two USB charging ports for your electronics and one's in uh, the newer USB-C style. So you should be good to go to plug stuff in. There's four different outlets for doing that. Now this one does have the charcoal or the gray interior with overhead lighting. This light gray uh, headliner really makes it um, feel much more spacious inside the uh, Tacoma. So that's a quick look on the inside of the SR edition. Like I say, it is the entry level other than the engine, and it just has a lot of great features. Okay, so in the uh, back seat, same thing we saw up front, bottle holders on the doors, uh, speakers in the doors, power windows. These back windows are also privacy glass, so tinted out, including the far back window with the power or the, I'm not, I'm sorry, not power sliding rear window, that's a manual, but it does open up, opens and closes in the back. Cloth seats in the back, just like we saw up front, of course. And I went ahead and folded down 60% of the back seats just to show you, this is a hard plastic on here, so really durable. And then there is some storage back here behind the seat. And there's also little hooks up there for your plastic grocery bags, side curtain airbags in the back seat laundry hooks, passenger assist uh, grips, if you will. There are cup holders back here. They're right down here, but there's no USB charging ports in the back seat of the Tacoma, not even the uh, more upscale or the loaded versions. It's uh, kind of odd to me, but no USB charging ports. The uh, seat on this side, the 40%, it folds down also. So you just, there's no release. You just lift it up. And then down underneath, here's one of those storage boxes I was talking about. There's one on that side over there that has the jack, runs all the way. And then this one is a mostly empty. But I put the, uh, these are the cleats for the uh, bed liner, so those go back there. But look at, you've got a nice storage compartment. That's not a key lock on that, but it definitely allows you to put your stuff in there, get it out of, out of sight, out of mind. And then this seat comes down as well. Unfortunately, on the Tacoma, you have to take out the headrest to get the seat to go all the way down. But when you do, again, that hard plastic back, and then there's more storage down here 
with again the, uh, t the hooks for your grocery bags. There's also child safety seat anchors in the back. So there's three of those. If you can fit three child safety seats back here, that's another question. But And then those headrests, when you pull them out, they are designed to stow up onto the back of the seat here. But uh, plenty of room back there for three adults, three kids, no problem. And it's also very, very comfortable. So a nice wide opening on the uh, back end there.